a few questions uh, to ask you. It's uh, considering uh, I mean, your music. Um, what is your influence and um, how did you like, start to experience the Balkans music at first? Well, first of all, um, I'm a bit aware of the term Balkan music because the idea is is not to represent Balkan as a region or as a country. Um, the thing is, it's a more a kind of, let's say, philosophical uh, point of view. I mean, we are all people more or less based in continental Europe, whatever that means. And uh, I mean, Europe for us, it was nothing special. Maybe until the Berlin Wall fell down, continental Europe changed and it changed very fast. And I think it be became much more um, interesting in cultural things and you know, there are places like Berlin for example, uh, which is let's say located somehow in the middle of Europe. Um, who are just in the middle of East and West. And uh, there you have a generation of young people, or older people, whatever. But I mean, you have a mosaic culture. And of course, myself, um, in the moment when the Berlin Wall fell down, I took it as a chance to, to visit the first time in my life that mystic area called Bukovina. Bukovina is an area located between Romania and Ukraine and this place used to be one of the most colorful cosmopolitical playground societies before the Second World War. Suddenly this place got destroyed by nationalism, by Stalinism and of course by human being stupidity. And when I traveled there first, uh, I thought I will find something very romantic, very authentic. I mean, we have a picture of Eastern Europe, a picture, a cliché, let's say, a stereotype from movies. Uh, we have a kind of romantic view, but today you will see, you know, Eastern Europe is not like that. It's not a cliché, it's not a stereotype, it's, it's just something which lost somehow a big part of their own identity. I mean, all those countries became very Western focused, which is natural in the way that uh, there's a big economic problem, of course, even culture-wise. During the communist era, these countries they got really disconnected to, the own, to their own roots. So for myself, when I came back after visiting Bukovina the first time, I was kind of disappointed because I found out that all the mythos uh, of Bukovina in Southeastern Europe, which I knew from my family, because they are simply born there, is not existing anymore. And so I asked myself, maybe the time is right to do something which reflects culture-wise um, part of my own identity. You know, as a teenager, I was more or less copying the typicalish Anglo-American rock pop star, you know. I was curious what is the next thing from London, from New York. But these cities, especially New York and London, they are quite boring these days. There's nothing really interesting coming from there. And I think continental Europe right now, and that was also my idea, to take part of my own cultural roots, which is for sure based in Southeastern Europe. I even have a Greek grandfather who still lives in Greece. 
Um, and I took it, you know, to combine these family roots, these family influences with, uh, yeah, with Western elements. I mean, with the things I'm grown up with, electronic music, pop culture, rock and roll, you know, but it's not so much about um, making a definition of Balkan. It's more a kind of urban sounds which represents maybe the the ground feeling of a young generation in the big cities of continental Europe. So when we play, when we do shows, when we do festivals, I mean you see in the audience a totally mix of different people, different ages, even different cultures. But personally, I would say, I don't really give a shit about identity, you know. I want to do music without passport control, that means for me. As a matter of fact that I have a Romanian grandmother doesn't make me a better singer or that I have a Greek grandfather is not helping me playing the guitar better. It's part of my identity but it's not necessary, you know. It's like we have a very colorful, a very patchwork society and these are the things I'm very proud of. I'm not talking about the happy, clappy, multi culty political phenomena. I'm talking about, you know, influences, whatever it is. It's not about to creating a photocopy of a, a Balkan brass uh, orchestra. It's something different than the typical Anglo-American rock and roll stereotype. I think the time is right that Europe is showing something different and it's getting stronger and stronger. And there are people in France, in Germany, in Switzerland, in Scandinavia who just use this Southeastern European elements to create something very emotionally, you know, very deep, very uncool. Maybe it's the rebirth of the uncool, you know, because it works without marketing. It's not really a useful fashion campaign. It's something that smells, you know, in a positive way. And yeah, here we are.